Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, in the previous video, we did a, a toilet reset. We actually took an existing toilet off and then we put that toilet back. In this segment, I just want to show you what the procedure would be for a new bowl or, and a new tank uh, combined. Naturally, when you get the bowl and the tank, they're in two separate boxes. So you're going to set the bowl first and you can see I already have the bowl down. Now I'll take you through the procedure to actually set the tank on top. One thing I wanted to clarify, guys, is that in the previous video, you know, I showed you my wax gasket here that uh, had to go down on the flange. And I just want to clarify that uh, I have this encased in a piece of plastic. That plastic has to come off. So you would actually, you'd actually push the plastic, peel the sides of this, and you would actually end up with just the wax gasket. You, you do not put this down on the flange because you have to remove this plastic. So I just wanted to clarify that for those of you who said, wow, do I put this down? Do I leave it on? No, you don't leave it on. You take this plastic off. You have to peel this plastic off and you have to have just the virgin wax sitting on your flange. So with that in mind, uh, let's move to the procedure for uh, prepping the tank for installation. Okay, folks, as you can see, we have our tank here set up and I actually already installed a new flush valve gasket that came with the tank. Now it's time to set up our tank bolts. Now you have a set of brass tank bolts followed by a series of washers. You have a washer that goes on the inside of the tank. Uh, you'll have one that goes on the outside of the tank. And you'll follow that up with a backup washer, a brass washer, followed by a nut. Okay, now the procedure is to put your uh, washer that's going to go inside the tank. And what I do for insurance purposes, and a lot of guys think I'm crazy for doing this, but I do it, is I use trusty plumber's putty. And I don't use a lot of it. I use just a little bit of it. I make a little, a little ribbon, if you will, with my hands. And I back up that rubber washer with a little plumber's putty. Now, a lot of, feel, a lot of guys uh, feel that this is not necessary, but I'll tell you, I've never had a leak through a set of tank bolts. And trust me, I've seen brand new tank bolts leak. And in an effort to reduce my callbacks, putty does the job. So we set it through the tank. I can see the putty squeezed out. Now we're going to follow that with the exterior washer, followed by the backup brass washer, and finally the nut that holds the bolt in place. And you're going to run that all the way up. And once you do that, you'll take your um, open and wrench that I have here. And again, bear in mind, this is China. So you don't have to kill these things, guys. Uh, you know, gently, gently make up the nut until it snugs up. You don't have to destroy it because you will crack the tank. Trust me. Uh, I don't know that I've ever cracked the tank, but uh, it doesn't take much. So once that's on, you rep repeat the process for the other side with the other bolt. I have my flush valve gasket on. And now it's a matter of mounting the tank to the bowl. And uh, you'll see that in the next segment. Okay, as you can see, I have my second bolt in there. Uh, I back that up with putty also. Uh, put it through the tank. I got that snugged up with my open end wrench. And now it's a matter of just mounting the tank on top of the bowl. And I'll try to do that without blocking too much of your view. So it's a matter of lifting the tank and lining up the bolts with the holes. And that'll sit down like that. Now I take my secondary backup washer along with my wing nuts. And in this case, I have wing nuts. A lot of times you'll have regular you know, nuts. They don't give you the wing nuts. The wing nuts are kind of nice because you can grab them. And you got to catch them. It's a little tricky to catch them sometimes, but and then I'll do this side. You run them up, and what I like to do is I alternate the, my weight. I'll, I'll push down on the left side, tighten, push down on the right side, tighten, and I'll get that to the point where it's comfortable. And I feel I'm at the point where I'm not going to crack anything. All the while I'm doing this, I have my level, and I got that across the top, and I'm, I'm checking to make sure that my 
my tank is sitting level. And, and you'll just do that until you get it to the point where it's nice and straight. And at that point, we can stop. Next piece of uh, information is to tie the water in. And again, what I like to do is hold on to the water fill valve while I tighten this. And I go, you know, hand tighten plus a little more, just past a little bit. At this stage, what we can do is turn our water on to the left. We're going to turn it all the way on to the left. In this case, it's already on. Uh, now, after this fills up with water, we're going to flush this several times. And we're going to test it. And what we're looking for is no water. We don't want to see any signs of water coming out of here. We don't want to see any signs of water coming out of the back or through the bolts. At that stage, guys, you're finished. Um, in the previous video, uh, you know, we did uh, the removal and reinstallation of a tank and bowl. In this video, I showed you how to actually mount a tank to a bowl. Not all that difficult. Uh, the best piece of advice I can give you is, is use that putty on your backup uh, bolts inside the tank because I've installed many tanks with brand new washers and brand new bolts and tightened them down and they leaked. They didn't leak a lot, but they leaked enough for me to get the ultimate phone call, and I had to go back and take care of it. So, folks, do yourself a favor. Use the putty. Listen, I thank you guys for stopping by, as always. Uh, I look forward to uh, your, your replies, your questions. You could reach me at bobsplumbingvideos.com. My email is info at bobsplumbingvideos.com. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Everybody take care. Thank you.